No, what I do is I have a, a program that I do even outside of Channel 5 where I go across the state doing a tornado safety program. Okay. And in the program, I talk about the four things that have to happen for people to stay safe. Number one, you got to have a good warning, which the National Weather Service is good at. Number two, you got to hear the warning. Sometimes that happens, sometimes that doesn't. Number three, you got to know what to do, which is where I come in with my education program. And number four, you got to have a safe place to go. So at the end, when I'm talking about having a safe place to go, I go through and talk about shelters because I always have people that draw me diagrams of their houses and say, where do I need to go? And a lot of people now, because of seeing all the videos on TV like three weeks, four weeks ago, they turn on and they see the tractor trailers going up in the air out in Dallas. Or they hear about Wichita, you know, the Kansas outbreak. So they're always wanting to know about shelters. And so I talk about my, my personal two favorite types of shelters are the in-ground garage units for Tennessee especially because almost half the tornadoes that we see in Tennessee are nighttime tornadoes. So you've got a traditional underground unit out in the yard at 2 o'clock in the morning when the alarm goes off, you've got to get everybody up, out of bed, you've got to run down, and then you've got to go out in the weather and you can't see. You can't see if it's on you. If you do that twice and it doesn't come, you're not going right. first. Right, exactly. You know, are you going to disturb the four-year-old who's right. sleeping Stand like a baby? That. That's right. So I really like these units in that you can put them in the ground, in the house. So you have an underground, in the house outside. garage right. or uh, shelter. And Most so, people that die in the got from his phone. Right. So if you're late getting outside and there's debris, right. the first sign of a real tornado. Exactly. Exactly. You might get hit in the head with a stick and the tornado never come hurt your house. Right. right. So, uh, yeah, that's so I like these. And then What's your also, second type? The second type would be above ground steel Safe storm rooms. shelters okay. for, for people who can't get yeah, in these. Yeah. Or maybe they don't have a garage, maybe they don't have a, uh, a concrete pad somewhere. Right. And so, or, or, or a place where they can put in the ground. Yeah. So, But they do have a concrete pad. And so they can put those under so the carport. Them for side debris. Right. A two by fours or rocks and things that's airborne. Right. That's what. That's what well, and as you mentioned, most people are hurt in tornadoes by the debris. So right. this gives them a shelter from the debris. Bulletproof. That's a, yeah, a lot more sturdy than the yeah. house. Yes. You know, when the two by fours are going through the house, or you've got bricks and whatever coming through the windows, and this thing is going to stand up and it's going to allow people to be safe. And you know, now the, the uh, National Weather Service, the official government. A recommendation for surviving extreme winds in this part of the country is a storm shelter. And back a few years ago that wasn't the case, but now since our part of the country over the last 15 years has become essentially Tornado Alley, right with the plains. And up until last year, we led the nation in tornado deaths right. in Tennessee. Right. The last 10 years we had right. deaths, and then Alabama and Job 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 Missouri, Missouri. Missouri. over not right. 200 deaths. Right. I mean, you don't want to be the leader of that, but that was pretty astounding. Yeah. And 90% of those people were killed in their house. Yes. Yes. Or, or house trailer. Right. Right. So, I am on a mission, and I'm going to expand what I'm doing even next year. I'm on a mission for everybody in Tennessee especially, and then eventually I'll go out to Kentucky, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. But I'm on a mission to teach everybody exactly what they need to do for the next tornado. And I'm on a mission to convince as many people as I can shelters the way they need to be. And so, this and is something. There's things like you do in a house. Right. I tell people to have bicycle helmets. Right. Keep a little styrofoam bicycle helmet in their safe place. And blankets. Yeah. Not just to keep them warm, but to cover them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so this is what the units look like after they come back. That's and a good side of the Our goal is to be able to try to work out the business. So we take a short blow down.